Welcome to Rory Academy YouTube channel where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology. N-type semiconductor. The most commonly used semiconductors are silicon and germanium. The silicon has 14 electrons which have been configured as 2, 8, 4. Germanium has 32 electrons which have been configured as 2, 8, 18, 4. Both of the semiconductors have 4 electrons at their outermost orbit. Hence, there are vacancies for more than 4 electrons. 4 valence electrons fulfill these vacancies each of which is from 4 individual neighboring semiconductor atoms. In this way, all atoms of a semiconductor crystal make a covalent bond with the nearest most neighborhood atoms. Ideally, all valence electrons in a semiconductor crystal are involved in forming covalent bonds. Hence, there should not be any free electron in the crystal. N-type semiconductor crystal structure but this is not the actual case. At absolute zero Kelvin, there would not be any free electron in the crystal, but when the temperature rises from absolute zero to room temperature, numbers of valence electrons in the bonds are thermally excited and come out from the bond and generate several free electrons in the crystal. These free electrons cause the conductivity of the semiconductor materials at any temperature higher than absolute zero. There is a method of increasing the conductivity of semiconductors at any temperature greater than absolute zero. This method is called doping. In this method is pure or intrinsic semiconductor is doped with pentavalent impurities like antimony, arsenic, and phosphorus. These impurity atoms replace some of the semiconductor atoms in the crystal and occupy their positions. As the impurity atoms have five valence electrons in the outermost orbit four of them will create the covalent bond with four adjacent semiconductor atoms. Hence, the number of free electrons is greater than the number of holes in the n-type semiconductor. That is why free electrons are called majority carriers, and holes are called minority carriers in the n-type semiconductor. Majority and minority carriers in a p-type and n-types. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to this channel for your weekly videos.